Hey guys, happy December 1st to everybody. I can't believe that December is finally here. This is definitely probably my favorite month out of the entire year. Um, today is the start of Vlogmas. I promised you guys that I would be doing Vlogmas this year. The way that I'm going to be doing it is a little bit different from how people typically do it. So most people will upload a video every single day for like the 25 days before Christmas essentially. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it all month long. So you'll get a video until I think December 31st will probably be my last one. But I'm only going to upload every three days. Reason being is that I still want to continue to do like my beauty and my candle videos during the month of December. But I don't want to upload a vlog and then a beauty video like every single day. So I figured doing a follow me around type video every three days will be great. Um, also, I'm honestly just not that exciting. <laughs> my life is pretty simple right now. Um, most of it is centered be around like being a stay at home mom with Stella. So my days revolve around laundry, dishes feeding Stella, trying to potty train her, all of that kind of stuff. Like it just is like, I've just kind of accepted the fact that like my life right now is just really kind of boring and I'm okay with that because that's just the stage that I'm in. So um, I don't want to bore you guys with that kind of stuff every single day. Um, some days you may see a specific topic like today. Um, some days you may just see a couple of snippets from the last three days sort of pieced together. But, um, you know, I mean, I have some fun things that we're going to be doing this month, so I hope to take you guys along for those things. But I just, you know, every day is, I would just bore you guys to death. So every three days, you guys can expect a vlog from me. And today I'm going to do my remodeled master bathroom tour. For those of you that are newer to my channel, my husband and I have been remodeling our house for what seems like forever. We bought the house brand new back in 2005. However, it was just a generic house. <laughs> and everything that was put in it was builder grade and that's not really what we're looking for in our home. We're also trying to upgrade it because we plan on selling it in a couple of years. And everybody knows that if you upgrade your kitchens and your bathrooms and a few other things like you your value obviously goes up so that's honestly what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the most that we can when we sell our house in a couple of years um so we did Stella's bathroom first I am going to show you guys just a quick glimpse of that again and then I will also list the some vlogs down below where I I believe that there was either one or two where I showed progress in our bathroom, but then I'll also just include some from Stella's bathroom. Just because the bathrooms mirrored each other essentially, they, um, they're they both basically the exact same bathroom with the exception that Stella's has a little linen closet, um, but for the most part, the bathrooms were exactly the same. They're back to back. So we've been doing this for what seems like forever. Um, it's been such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, I really hate remodeling. I, I told Craig, I was like, if we like move in a couple of years, like we're planning to, I really want to make sure that we either like build a house and like it's done when we move in or we buy a house that is the way that we want it, like in some neighborhood or something. So, um, I just don't want to ever like have to live through like remodeling again um and I think it's a lot harder because I have a toddler and so she wants to get into things and having like contractors coming in and out like it just I don't know I'm whining about it but it's just, it's hard you know like it would interrupt her nap times it would like, I wouldn't be able to go out and do anything because I'd have to be home all the time for the contractors to come in and do tile work and stuff like that. So it, let's just say it's been a giant pain in the ass. So I'm glad that it's done. We still have a lot to do. Um, so in the upstairs, we still have pretty much all of the crown molding and all of the rooms to do. We have to replace all of the trim. So the trim that you see along the floors, along the doorways here, 
that's the stuff that came with the house. It's pretty generic. I don't like it. We're replacing everything with white trim and you'll see what that looks like. So in the rooms that we're finishing, we're sort of, we've replaced it obviously in there, but we haven't done like the doorways yet. So you'll see kind of a mishmash of like stuff going on that will all be uniform, hopefully in the next few months as we finish the upstairs. Because once we finish upstairs, we are tearing out the entire downstairs. We're doing hardwood floors down there. We're doing a brand new kitchen, a new bathroom, a new guest bathroom downstairs, and like our laundry room and stuff like that. So this house is gonna be so beautiful, and then we're gonna move out of it. <laughs> I'm kind of actually like, it makes me a little bit sad that like we're doing all this, and then we're just gonna move, but we want Stella to go to school in a different school district, and so that's the way that it has to be. At any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys into the bathrooms um, and try to explain it as best as possible. I'll let you know the styles of like the faucets and stuff like that, just in case you're interested. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so here's the peek again into Stella's bathroom. The counters, um, sorry, the cabinets were designed by Craig's uncle. He is a cabinet maker. So he custom made these for us. They are built to Craig specifications. My husband is six foot seven, so everything in this house is going up several inches from where it was. Um, so with Stella's bathroom, it's obviously a little bit more um, like shabby chic style. Um, I'm still not entirely done decorating this bathroom. Like I want to get some artwork for in here, like above the towel rack and stuff, but I just haven't really had time to focus on that and I haven't like seen anything out and about. So it's just, this is what it's going to be for right now. So anyway, we have double sinks in here now. It was originally just one sink in the middle. So that's a huge change. Um, travertine floors, travertine shower. So basically the same tile that's in the shower is on the floors. We do have a, um, this is heated tile. So there is a little thing here to turn on the heat. Um, it basically makes this floor super, super warm. Um, by the way, that's Honey Pear Cider in there from Scentsy, and it's amazing, just in case you're wondering. Um, so this is Stella's shower here. Well, she has a bathtub. She's got some of her toys and stuff in there. So um, when we have guests come and stay, this is obviously their bathroom as well. Um, that is a really neat toilet. I'm only pointing it out because it's so cool. So we call it Stella's Magic Toilet. We have one in our bathroom now too, but it's the Kohler um, like Magic Touch Toilet. So basically all you do is wave your hand over that little button there. You don't even touch it. Like you just wave your hand over it and it flushes the toilet. So it's a little bit more sanitary. Um, I like it a lot. This is a white quartz counter, and I believe the name of this um, color here is called White Zen. So it's really, really pretty. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bitch to keep clean. I don't recommend the White Zen. <laughs> it's fine because it's a guest bathroom, but I don't know that I would pick this again. Um, there you have it. All right, here's the linen closet. Um, they're just curtains from um, Target and like just a tension rod up there and then Sophie's litter box is in here too so it's kind of hidden away which is really nice um, I obviously don't have anything in here yet because once again I just haven't even had time to like move towels and everything else in here so that's that let's move to our bathroom um, this is the trim that I'm talking about that is still um, in basically all of the rooms that we haven't refinished. By the way, there's my cat. Um, but here, let's go back in here. So for in this bathroom, for example, everything is now white. Um, this trim's white. This needs to all get sanded um, and then painted. This part, you just rip off and we're replacing it with a completely different style. We're replacing it with more of like, just like square wood stuff. Technical term. That's my Goodwill pal that I've had going for a while. All right, so here's our bathroom. So you can see that it mirrors Stella's in the way that it's set up. Same cabinets, but a completely different vibe in here. This is a little bit more modern. Um, I didn't know originally what I wanted for this bathroom, and then I just started picking stuff out and just hoping that it would like fit together. 
I have titled this bathroom 50 shades of gray because somehow I just started buying everything in gray and I didn't even intentionally do it I'm sure that's a huge style no-no but I could really care less at this point so meet 50 shades of gray bathroom <laughs> This is a huge, huge, huge difference from what we had before. Um, so the sinks in here are square. They are all undermount. This is called, um, I believe, Dove Gray. This is also a quartz countertop. I like this one too, but you can see, like I wiped it with some Lysol wipes and it leaves like a weird film. I don't know if I should be using the Lysol wipes. Probably not. I should do a little bit more research. But <laughs> at any rate, this is Craig's side of the sink. We also have the heated tile floors in here. So these tiles are completely different. We use the same tiles on the floor that we used in the shower. So to keep it all kind of uniform. Um, this is my side of the sink. Um, Craig and I have never had double sinks. <laughs> so this is huge for us. Um, he has his own place and area to get dirty and he has to clean it and I have my area. So this is really, really nice. Um, I just put the products that I use on a daily basis. So here's a sneak peek into my skincare. I'll do a skincare routine video, but this is the stuff that I use pretty much on a daily basis. Um, by the way, the best body butter ever. Um, uh, we have these are actually medicine cabinets so this is really nice because I now have a place for all of my skincare like it's all organized I can like reach it I can put it back in its place as soon as I'm done with it this is just huge for me I used to literally have everything like spread out on the counter it was awful it was horrible I couldn't be happier with having a medicine cabinet so Craig has one too I'm not going to open his because that's where pretty much all of like our like medication is <laughs> like prescription medicine and stuff the light fixture um that is from alan and roth i don't remember the name of the style but i can tell you that you can find it at uh lowe's <laughs> this style of um for all of the fixtures in here this is called the dryden style from delta you can find this at home depot you can find it at lowe's i actually ordered it from overstockdeals.com um I used Ebates, by the way, and got a shit ton of cash back um, for ordering a bunch of this stuff online. I'm not going to lie, it was expensive, um, so I was happy to get the cash back. People, if you're not using Ebates, do it. <laughs> I always put a link down below because I think it's like the best deal ever. Like, you literally get money back for, like, buying this stuff that, like, you're going to buy anyway. So, and there was, like, no catch to it. Okay. That's my eBay spiel for today. Um, this is actually the Olmstead style from Delta. Now, the reason that I didn't do the same like faucets as like the Dryden style for like the rest of this stuff is because the faucets were like the cheapest I found was like two fifty. That was just too much. So the Olmstead style was one hundred and fifty dollars less. So we went with this. And I think it looks pretty similar. Um, it's got more of like that square styling. So I was fine with that. It's still from Delta. It's still really, really nicely made. I love it. It's fantastic. But there you have it. So um, these are just really, everything is like soft clothes. So I can't like slam cabinets anymore on accident, which I love. So I just keep my stuff down here. Craig keeps his stuff down there. This um, is nice because I can like organize the stuff that I reach for the most. So like hair clips, um, floss, deodorant, um, chapstick, stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to lie, most of these drawers are occupied by me. Um, this is extra body care, um, basically body care. <laughs> so lotions, potions, um, you know, skincare products like my PMD. Um, my answer beam, um, this is Craig's stuff here. He loves the A&D. Apparently Craig has chafing issues. That's probably TMI. Sorry, Craig. Um, but these drawers are just really nice and deep and they slide really easily. Um, this is like my hair care drawer down here. So, um, my hair heat styling tools that I honestly never use, um, cause I just don't give a crap. Um, 
And then, you know, just hair care stuff down here and just, so I can pull this thing out really easily or just grab things from here, you know, and like just put it back. So that's really nice. Um, double towel bar, which is like the coolest invention ever. I didn't even know these were really a thing until we started remodeling. And I was like, dude, that's effing genius. Like two towel bars in one. I had honestly never seen one before. That might make me sound like an idiot, but this is very cool. <laughs> I finally have a place for my robe in the bathroom. We just put this hook up here, which is really nice. Um, the color in here, by the way, is called London Coach, and it's by Valspar. Um, so that's that. There is our magic toilet. There's my cat. She loves sleeping in here because of the heated floors. Um, so Sophie spends a lot of time in here. This is our new shower. I love our new shower. It's wet because I take showers every day. So <laughs> anyway, um, we did have to have these doors custom made. Um, that was not cheap, but they're really nice. Um, the glass is really super thick. Um, and, you know, like we have an extra towel bar here. So Craig gets this for his towels and then my hair and my body towels are here. So we no longer have towels like hanging over the door, which is what I used to do all the time. So we took the bathtub completely out of here. I did not want a bathtub anymore. So we have the like little rocks in the shower pan. Um, I had him build a bench. Um, by the way, we had a contractor do this stuff here because this is pretty complicated. Um, and Craig works a lot. So um, we did have somebody do the shower, but pretty much everything else we did in both of the bathrooms with the exception of the tile work because that's crazy. Don't do your own tile work. That's silly unless you're a professional. Um, but anyway, love this. Um, love having a place to put my foot up on when I shave my legs. Um, so there's some body wash over there. And then um, I have a nook here for all of my various veritables that I'm using right now. I'm trying to pare this down. <laughs> I would like to only have two shampoos and two conditioners, a scrub and a face wash in here. So I'm working through some stuff. Um, this is nice. Uh, it's like a rain uh, shower head thing. We have this little guy here, um, which detaches, and this also moves up. Um, so, so Stella takes showers with me every day. Um, one, sometimes that's easier than giving her a bath, and two, uh, she just can't be trusted to run around while I take a 10-minute shower, so I just take her in the shower with me. Some people may think that's weird, but I don't know. I birthed her, so she can take a shower with her mom. <laughs> I promise I won't have her in here when she's like six or seven, but right now she's two and a half and it works. So anyway, this is Stella's shower head um, and that's Mama's. <laughs> it works out well. So this is the diverter so I can have just this one going, just this one or both at the same time. So if I really want to like waste some water, I'll do that. But don't worry, hippies of the world, I rarely do that just for the sake of doing it. Um, this turns the shower on and off and then this is like the heat thing or hot cold thing so it's kind of nice because once you have it in a place that you like it you just turn that on and then like it automatically go goes back to the last temperature that you had so that's nice one thing i will say so this is very nice it's very heavy duty very nice but water spots killing me i hate the water spots but whatever um so yeah, this is the shower. It's nice and big. Slippers in the shower. Um, that's our bathroom, folks. So again, it's not completely finished. I still have some touch-up paint to do in here. I still want to find like some artwork for right here. Um, you can see the new trim uh, in here. So again, that's all the stuff that we have to do to all of the rest of the rooms. You can see that we actually still haven't switched out the door handle here yet. Everything is being changed to brushed nickel. So the gold stuff is going away. We just haven't bought that yet. But that, so this needs to get sanded, painted, this taken out, and then crown molding. Oh, oh, and yeah, all of the trim on the floor as well. I honestly can't think about it because it stresses me out. <laughs> So anyway, um, 
here. I'm trying to get into like better lighting here. Um, that's it, folks. That is the bathroom tour for today. This was a much longer that video than I anticipated. I just wanted to make sure that I got information out so that I maybe wouldn't have to answer questions. Because again, so here, let me just reiterate this. I turn off all like comments and like ratings on um, my follow me around videos. It just helps with people who are obnoxious about stuff and have opinions. I just don't have to deal with that when I <laughs> disable all that stuff. So at any rate, um, if you guys do have any questions about like the stuff that we used, just send me a private message. And if you're curious, I'll let you know like the styles and stuff. I still have like some of the boxes and stuff like that. So anyway, have a great day. You guys will see me in a beauty video tomorrow and you will see me in another vlogmas three days from now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.